Casey Patson, who I've um, been reading up on every couple of months because we're getting like funding and support like every from IFP IFP for, yeah. and then after that so the Gotham Award congratulations thank on you. that thank you that certainly so uh, it helps in the bank account absolutely you could you get to throw a party for your you get to throw a bar mitzvah for your film at Sundance so it's nice great you get to take like people to dinner and those guys are amazing and I love them and they're all they're all I consider all of them my friends uh, at IFP, Amy Dodson, and Joanna Vicente, and they've been really, really good people to talk about all mm -hmm. of this with, mm -hmm. and like, I'll call Scott McCauley, and he's just, he's just, they're just really open and uh, terrific people, and they've, they've given me and this film a lot of opportunities, so. So, I'm, I'm talking to you um, less than 24 hours after it was announced that, um, you got picked up by the wine scene, so congratulations Thank you. It's, on that deal. It's uh, Radius uh, um, yeah, they're, Wine they're... Scene Company. Um, uh, those guys, uh, Tom and Jason, are just, we had a like wonderful conversation with them. They, they're masters of what they do. They're going to, we felt like we had to service the, you know, we were at this point in service of the film. Mm -hmm. So, and also of Robin's performance, quite frankly, and we really just wanted to be somewhere that really knew what to do with it and um, their their acquisitions are fantastic right now mm -hmm. I mean they're doing really great work mm -hmm. and they're kind of establishing themselves as a home for artists and I I just I, I was over the moon to even just have the opportunity to work with them quite frankly you know because I feel like they're going to know what to do with it yeah I mean and you make a you know lesbian hooker film like which I'm never supposed to say but you know it's really about a marriage and they see that potential. Yeah. They see the crossover potential in it. They they know what to do with it. It's much broader in scope. It's not you can't just define it as this, this, this. And there's and there's an edge about them, and I think there's an edge about the piece, and I think it's a good. Fit. I it, I just feel like it might be a, a good fit. So I'm excited. It's a great. I call it a manifesto against domestication and also the <laughs> death of desire and desirability. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. The title makes reference to a clenching moment for the character's um, existence yeah. um, it's at the very beginning of the film yeah. and it's also a, a catalyst for change um, but what I what I appreciated more about this gold intro was that um, you embedded uh, comedic elements into in, into it it was very it was actually quite funny how did you fit that in I just could not I knew from the minute I started writing this that this this car this film could not be for lack of a better term, up its own ass. Mm -hmm. It just, it was, it could not be that film. Like, it, I couldn't, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get away with it as, uh, as a director. And um, my collaborators, Anthony Kufo and Rose Troche, and Rose particularly will not let me get away with it. Mm -hmm. It is, we, you know, um, the, the process of working with those guys I mean, it is, it is, uh, it is. You know, you're vetted, 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 and I just sometimes the best way to get to this place of of of, ex of discovery with a piece is when you can just kind of make fun of it a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that this, the, the, I think, you know, if the character is based on myself at all, you know. Um, I, I'm ridiculous, so like so she had to be a little ridiculous of as course. well. So, um, yeah. So I, I don't think that this. I don't think. I think that's what's kind of interesting about it. Like it, it's just it just doesn't take itself that seriously, mm -hmm. you know. Until it has something to actually talk about, you know. And, until it has something to address, and um, and then it takes the question seriously. But getting to the question is is a journey, and there's no reason why it shouldn't be. Yeah, well, if you, you, you light, you know, yeah. and also the other thing is, and a better answer for it might be, you know, I think we're different people on every given day. Assume her position, and, and we so get her from the get go, and I think I think that's thank you. It's a brilliant piece of of. Well, I mean, just writing. look at us. I mean, the minute I saw you, <laughs> I called you a thing today, you know. <laughs> and the thing is, is it's easier to, it's easier to like know people if you just. If you just know them, you yeah. know, if you just know them backwards, forwards, be yourself kind of thing, and you're kind of right into them, mm -hmm. you know, rather than like, let's introduce this in this sort of formal way, and then let's introduce this in this sort of formal way. The informality of life, I think, is, 
is much more is much more interesting. Yeah. Yes. Um, this is Abby's show from the get go. I, I think she's in ninety six percent of the film. Yes. if not more. Yeah. Um, I think there's one scene she's not in. I remember the her the pimp-ish. The pimpish. Oh yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, um, first of all. Robin, I, I can't pronounce her last Wiger, name. Wiger, Wiger, yeah. She's brilliant. I mean, if there's a Best yeah. Actress Award to give at this festival, I don't even think there is such a thing, <laughs> but I'd be yeah. handing it to her. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, my um, God. Everything That's hinges so on her performance, so I'd like to know That's right. uh, that, that, that process of working with her. Not how you, not how you picked her up, because this is already stuff of legend. Right, and, right, and, right, but right, right, right. That process of... of, of of picking her up, she did her her homework. She she built herself for the role. Afterwards, how was that process with her on set, in between takes? <clears throat> we we were we were very close. I mean, I don't think we couldn't have been close. So uh, we'd laugh, we'd cry, we'd fight, we we knock each other out. We would we you know it was a very immersive process. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think. It was important to have that sort of open dialogue because we needed to find the tone of this film. And so I have a lot of stuff of Robin doing a wildly different performance. Mm-hmm. And I have a lot of stuff of Robin doing this performance. Mm-hmm. And as we started kind of piecing this performance together, you know, I realized the, the, the range of this actor. And that's actually why I asked her to do it. Because if you watch Robin's reel or if you look at the body of her work, she has this enormous range. I mean, if she was a singer, she'd have like a you know. I wasn't. Octaves. I wasn't familiar with her work. I, I don't want. I don't. I don't do TV for some reason. Yeah. Um, it, did you first discover her that way? Is it? Like... No. What I did was I sat down with this casting director. Okay. Um, and um, I said, and I said, this one I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm, okay. I'm not going to do this movie, like if I can't find the right person to okay. do it. And. Um, and, I, and I, she came back with a list, and I said, no, none of these people. And then she came back with another list, and I said, no, none of these people. And then she was like, <laughs> I'm like, just give me the absolute best, 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 best. I don't, like, I don't, like, I, I don't care. They're fancy. I don't want them to be fancy. I don't think a fancy person's going to be able to do this role, mm-hmm. you know, for lack of a better term. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I don't think a name is going to be able, I just don't, I just don't get, like, mm-hmm. I, that doesn't make any sense to me, so... Um, so finally I saw her reel and when you're in a position where you're making your first film even with Rose's you know whatever yeah. Rose wasn't really on board at that point but um, you, you have to be like you have to like offer like you, you can't audition mm-hmm. like these, so I had to take my baby and just offer it to her mm-hmm. and then we obviously contingent on, on that meeting that we had mm-hmm. and she read it and I'm thinking had a few other people that were close to her read it and wrote like back immediately that she wanted to. Her Rika moment happened way before. So so here's the here's the thing. Um, long story short is she read it. She loved it. She was my first choice. It was like Bashir. There's that Yiddish word. Congrats. Bishert. And it, it sped up the process, and that's how we got into production in the fall. So. The sex scenes. I'm always weary about sex scenes in films. There's a very simple way to do that. And you just no. There's a very simple way to do that. You How do you do require, that? Because it's not always you don't done. you don't use contracts. You get a lead actor who is not interested in signing some sort of clause, mm-hmm. like Robin, who's mm-hmm. like a real deal person, and is interested in going the distance. Mm-hmm. And then you give her scene partners, and you say, "Don't do anything you're not comfortable with doing," mm-hmm. and you get that. So you ask them to trust you, and you say, you know what, whatever you don't, you, if you don't feel comfortable, you, you know, just go. And if you don't feel comfortable with something, you stop. I don't care. I don't care. This is not what this is about. So, so a lot of people are getting it wrong because there's egos, there's, there's, there's the business aspect of it? I think so. Okay. I mean, if, it, if it's working on a level, that's the way we did it. I mean, and each one of those women she fed into, I mean, that's how great she is. I mean, and I've said this in the Q&A, the best, you know, it's the Kazan quote, the best, you know, directing is casting. It's, mm-hmm. it's I mean, there were times that, uh, and particularly with the last scene with uh, Cleo Gray, um, where she would do 
you know, the Asian woman, black, yeah. uh, black, uh, Teddy on, um, she, like she did that whole scene and you know, you're only seeing bits of it, but I mean, I have, I told, I told David, take apart the camera, strip it off, nothing. I we barely had any, you know, just nothing. Mm -hmm. That camera was just as bare as Robin was, you know? And I said, okay, and just move around her and, um, you know, just, you know, no holds barred. And um, and go and Robin became the dominatrix, the this, the that, the, the, all this stuff. I mean, she just went there. And I remember I had to drive her home that night, you know, because we were like, of course we're not having drivers, you know. So I'm driving her home that night. And I was so stunned by a lot of the stuff that ha I had seen that I was sort of like, <laughs> I was like, I was, I was kind of cl like Rose is clutching at my pearls, you know. Yeah. I was just sort of like so stunned about sort of the feeling that that was happening in the scenes like I don't think that I I got kind of a lump in I didn't I don't think I've ever seen that before you know with that kind of intensity and I'm like I'm wondering if that'll come off you know and it it I did think it, does, it did it you did, know? It did. I don't know so she's she's extraordinary so. um I want to talk about production design I, I thought it was extremely well done um and I'm always surprised because I get a sense that I put figures on movies. I say, okay, this might have cost this and this. Yeah, yeah. And I know, I think I get an idea of how much it might have cost. And, <laughs> it, and it was done, it, it looks as if it's like, you know, add a couple of seven figures to, to, to that. So, mm. um, well, I gave I don't Lisa know if you could say absolutely really no budget at all, basically. I gave her bare bones what she needed, absolutely no budget at all. So you were absolutely safe in saying that this was, you know, mm -hmm. beep, you know, mm -hmm. it was like nothing. Mm -hmm. And, um, her name is Lisa Myers. She's been an art director on Higher Ground and uh, all these other larger wow. movies. Okay. And so what I like to do is I like to take those kids who pu pull themselves up by their bootstraps, you know, mm -hmm. not necessarily the kids that go to, you know, mm -hmm. the high profile blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But I, I, and I have two of them on, on my many on the crew, but mm -hmm. two, but two standouts for me are, um, are, are David and Lisa. And David Crudo is, you know, a he celebrated his 25th birthday on my set. Right. Wow. Yeah. And wow. it was his first feature. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it w maybe his second, but okay. one was still in the... And Lisa Myers, we, I don't know if you should print this or, you know, cut it in this way. We call her Jesus. Like, basically, this woman, Lisa Myers, puts her head down, she listens, and she makes aesthetic choices that are so um, on point. Yeah. Because I was worried. You know, I mean, I'm from sort of the health and beauty industry, and mm -hmm. for me, it's all about aesthetics, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, And, uh, I mean, like, I did a lot of commercials and stuff like that, and I worked a lot for those people. High and, gloss. You know, high, yeah. But not even high gloss, just making media to that, those spec, specs, and very often time, that's very simple, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's about lighting a bottle or lighting a, you know, whatever. So, but Lisa, I, I, I looked at her and I said, French modern. You know, I said, that's what I'd like to do in the law, French modern, so boho kind of Frenchy modern. Mm -hmm thing and she started constructing this stuff like she'd go to hardware stores and construct it out of like pipe and like wood all those that shelving unit yeah, yeah, yeah. and we Rose and I walked into the loft because she had to quickly you know we'd shoot and then we'd go somewhere else and then we'd shoot and then we'd go somewhere else because she'd have to construct this loft yeah. and we'd come in and these beautiful choices had been made I mean of course we'd seen like schematics, yeah. but these beautiful choices had been made, and she changed the color of the room. And I was like, I walked in, and at first I was like, that's not the color that I picked. And then I realized that it was a better color mm -hmm. for the room because she, I think she had read something that I'd given her about, you know, Abby in the natural world or Eleanor in the natural world. I wanted the world to be natural okay. because it's something in the second sex about like being in, in, in the natural world and. You know, room of one's own and all that's you know mm -hmm. I'm, I'm conflating two things but she so she went like a little greener and it was just like fuck you this is amazing you know and all the art was donated by all these brilliant feminist artists Karen Marshall yeah I saw that on the Facebook page actually you thanked one of the artists for um... I mean you know and then girl of girls gave us you know uh, you know it was good for you a lot fabulous. of support yeah a lot of support well, um, I'll end with that. And and um, do you know your German well? Do you know do you know a little bit of German? I think no. you're headed. Aren't you? Oh headed, right? <laughs> no, I don't know. You're headed German. off to, to Berlin, German right? Was not, yeah, I'm headed off. To when did German. you find out for Berlin? Did you find out during very the very late? Okay, we were, we were very. Uh, we were probably one of the last in. Um, um, and.
and we were ecstatic about but it. But you find out, like, Sundance, you got accepted. Berlin, you got accepted. It was, like, a couple of weeks difference. Yeah, I guess, yeah, like. yeah, yeah. It, but it was, Jan- it was after Christmas. Well, kudos January. to you. And it'll be fun to, ha- to yeah. shine an international spotlight on this one. Maybe, uh, yeah. maybe find distribution elsewhere in some weird countries yeah, that you never expected. Yeah, yeah, Concussion coming to Poland. Maybe not. I don't know. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.